Greetings and welcome to Nathan Nile Official. If you have never seen my face in a video before, my name is Nathan Nile and this is my personal channel where I upload vlogs, reviews, anything that catches my fancy at the time. This specific video you are watching is part of a segment I call Anime Corner where at the end of a simulcast run I review all the different anime that I watched, tell you which ones were my favorites, which ones I didn't like and why I didn't like them. So for this specific video I'm going to be talking about mecha anime, anything that involves giant robots fighting. And the first one we're going to review is Heavy Object. This you can find on Funimation. To make a long story as short as possible, this anime takes place in a futuristic world where these giant, like, hundred foot tall tanks have been created and they've completely taken over modern warfare. This show revolves mostly around two specific guys, Havia and Quinther, because, and I'm gonna have to give you a little bit of a spoiler because unfortunately that's what, for me, made it worth watching. Uh, they work on a base where, at, where an object is stored. They are attacked, that object loses the battle, and now you know, they give up, they're ready to just give up, call it in, go home, but the other object keeps attacking them, destroys their base, they're trying their best to run for it. Uh, long story short, these two guys take it upon themselves to like save the princess, and they end up taking down this object with their bare hands and that ends up becoming just national news. People all over the world now know about these two guys because with their bare hands they dismantled an object. It was Quinta who had had, who had, had the idea like, hey, objects are built by humans, they can be taken apart by us too. And now unfortunately that little thought in his head had puts them just on a whirlwind journey because now everyone just keeps sending them to military bases all over the world expecting them to be the ones to just, you know, uh, if, if to just take down all the, the biggest, the greatest killing machines the world has ever known with their bare hands. The next anime we have is called Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. And if you haven't heard of this yet and if you haven't seen it already, why the hell are you even watching this video? You don't like anime. You can find this series everywhere. Like anywhere that they have anime, you can probably find this series on that site. I think it's a really great anime, very well done, and I'm not gonna lie, it's, I part of the reason I love it is partially just because it has the word Gundam in the title. If it didn't have that, would I think it's as good? We might never know. The next one I'm going to talk about is Comet Lucifer, and it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, it's about humans, but they live on a different planet, one called Gift. And there's a teenage boy, Sogo, who lives in a mining town. He accidentally ends up wandering into the ruins and he finds an underground lake where he finds a girl who is apparently like the guardian deity of the planet. She's what gives it life. She's the reason grass grows. And now other people are chasing after her and so he's trying to keep her safe, protect her. And there's this giant robot that keeps appearing to fight off all the other robots that the military sends to attack her. And then they had to find some sort of secret garden or something. I don't, I don't necessarily understand everything that happened in this show, but I will say this much: it's a unique and interesting storyline. If you, if that's kind of worth paying attention to. You know, it's got interesting characters and, in, and an interesting plot. Now there are, it does have some really deep emotional moments. It, it, I feel like it is a really heartfelt storyline. It's definitely worth taking a look at. Watch a few episodes, see if you like it. I don't love it enough to say that, oh, this is a must-see, everyone needs to go watch it. But I will say that it is worth taking a look at. So the last one I'm going to talk about is called Doa Maiga D, which you can find on Funimation. It's done in a classical style, and it's a story about a guy who he's, uh, he inherited a Kyoto sweet shop, which has been in his family for a while. And at, in one day, he finds a giant robot in the basement, Doa Maiga D. And that when strange monsters start attacking Kyoto, he gets in the giant monster and he uses it to create giant sweets which he then feeds to the monsters and, you know, they go away. <laughs> as you can tell by my enthusiasm as I'm describing it, I don't really love it. I think it's a fairly well done anime. Uh, I didn't really enjoy it, the storyline or anything that much. I think it's good enough I don't mind telling people about it. 
but I don't personally recommend watching it. But if you feel like checking it out, you know, feel free. So that's the end of this segment. Uh, of all of these four, my personal favorite is Absolutely Heavy Object Hooked from Episode 1. And you know, if there's more to come, then I definitely continue to plan on what plan on continuing to watch it. Yeah. And then the and then I'd say Gundam coming in a very close second. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please be sure to like, leave a comment below telling me if you saw any of these, did you enjoy them or not, why or why not. Tell me if there are any other vi shows that you like that you would recommend or that you would like for me to review. If you'd like for me to review any of these more in depth or any other anime out there that you would like me to check out for you. And until the next time you see my face in the video, my name is Nathan Lyle and I hope you enjoy your day.